A data collection sheet is useful for quickly collecting a whole load of data and rather than representing it in some fancy diagram or pie chart, we just want to very quickly write down a set of data. For example, if we're standing on a bridge counting off the different colours of the cars that pass by underneath, we don't want to just like each time a car comes by write down red or write down purple with dodgy colours or like one tyre missing. It will take ages. By the time you've written that, you've missed out like another 10 cars that have passed by. We want a quick, easy sheet where we can record our data very quickly. So what that is, is a data collection sheet. And for the example I just said about a car, you know, the different colours of a car, you could have a sheet that looks something like this. Now, notice the two critical columns on the right, tally and frequency. Here is our data collection sheet. Why is it so important to have a tally and a frequency column? A tally is something you can do really quickly when you're collecting data. A tally, as we're going to see, is simply each stroke represents one of that. So a white colored car, if we saw one passing by, we literally just need to tick a tally. Now, what takes slightly longer and what you could do at the end of the day after you've done your survey is you can count up your tallies and then write them as a number. And that's what frequency is. We don't just have a tally column. We have a frequency column where we write down the number that the tally, the sum of all the tallies, basically. Now, the reason we do that is that sometimes looking at a tally is hard to work out how many numbers there are quite quickly. So it just saves a bit of time when you're looking back at your data collection sheet so you can see how many cars there were of each type. Sometimes you'll be given the data that you need to fill out your data collection sheet with. Other times you just simply need to design a data collection sheet. If you're going to design one, make sure it's pretty much like this with a tally column, a frequency column and a type column. The type is simply the different types in the survey. So if you're surveying films, you would do sci-fi, romance, etc. Always good to have an other row because you never know what might come up. And if you're standing on the bridge, there might be a car that's fluorescent yellow or something and you can just tick other and then at the end maybe write about um, what that car was. So it's always good to have an other row. Sometimes, though, we're given a whole set of data and we need to fill out our data collection sheet with that data. So let's pretend we have some different data. Let's pretend we have six white cars that pass by. Let's say we're only looking for about 10 minutes. To do that on the tally, we wouldn't just do six strokes. We would do one, two, three, four, and then a diagonal line representing five. That's how you do tallies. You do four vertical strokes and on the fifth you do a diagonal stroke. That's five and then six. Now for frequency we simply write the number that that is. So that's six cars and then we write six. It just saves a bit of time. At the end you can just look at all the numbers. You don't have to count up the tallies each time. Let's imagine there's only three black colored cars, so we'll just do one, two, three, and we would write three as the frequencies. And let's go crazy and let's imagine that there are 12 gray cars. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And again, write the frequency. Now I don't need to fill out the whole table. But you get the idea. Each time we're filling out the tally and the frequency. In this case, you'd be given the data. It would be part of the question. It would tell you how many different cars there were of each type, perhaps from a bar chart or perhaps just a whole mass of numbers that they give you. But the most important thing to remember from this video is that when you're designing a data collection sheet, first of all, remember to have an other row. And most importantly of all, remember to have a tally and a frequency column.